guys, welcome to another video I decided to make. Um, I'm sitting in the new office, the new first VTC in Malaysia. This is the V Global Headquarters, which uh, supports the network worldwide. And wherever you're watching this, sitting at home or anything, this is just a very simple video made. Because I've been getting a lot of questions from um, leaders all over the world about a lot of issues which have not been addressed in our previous videos. Okay, I just launched a new video called The 8 Basic Building Blocks Rebuilt by V Studios, and uh, you can grab that. But this video is going to be very short, very to the point. And um, it's for me to share on the importance of training in our industry, network marketing, the importance of training in the V, and the importance of training in building your QuestNet business. Now, one mistake a lot of people make when they come into our business is that they think they already know what needs to be done. They, they walk into the networking business and they say, okay, okay, you don't have to teach me anything, I know what to do. But when you really analyze anyone from any background, whether you're a doctor, engineer, if you're sitting at home right now and thinking you're a marketing executive of a multinational company, it does not mean that you can come into network marketing and apply the same principles you apply out there in your traditional world of business and become successful. Network marketing is a very unique, very special business which requires you to be retrained, re-educated for you to understand what the whole business is about. Okay, now network marketing, the concept of network marketing is basically when you come into a network marketing business like QuestNet, right, golden rule, you're a baby. You're a little baby who's just starting a brand new journey Right, in a business which is, even though our business is 60 years old, in some cases 100 years old, the industry network marketing, doesn't mean you know enough. So the first rule which I want to share with you is that when you come into network marketing, please understand that you need to walk in as a baby, you need to empty your cup. Now this empty your cup story I've shared many times in all my trainings around the world and if you have attended my trainings, you know that I start every training with the empty the cup story. But I'm going to share this story once again here. Okay? Now the empty the cup philosophy is taught to me by my mentor, Dr. Vijay Ishwaran, our visionary, the managing partner of the V. And when he shared this story to me many years ago, I did not quite understand the importance of this story. But as I went along being a student, learning from him, I realized that this story was a turning point in my life. Right? And that my weakness for many years before all right, was because I did not empty my cup. So here's the empty the cup story. Okay? The empty the cup story is very simple. It's based on a story about Master Suzuki, who is a Zen Buddhist master in Japan. True person, really exists. It's not the motorbike Suzuki, it's Master Suzuki. Okay? And Master Suzuki ran a school, right? his school, with many branches around Japan, where young people from remote villages, not rich people, you know, uneducated, all right, illiterate, young kids who want to learn a new way of life based on Zen Buddhism, at, uh, you know, admit themselves to his school and become his student, all right? And there was one year when he invited 13 students to join the first year of class. There's four years before you remotely can be considered to be a master yourself or try to be a master, okay? And there was 13 students, 12 of the students came from remote villages in Japan, very poor kids. And one kid sneaked his way, maybe by influence, by his father or what, into Master Suzuki's class. All right? And this student was not from a remote village. He was from Tokyo, went to the US, got a degree, got a PhD, highly educated, and he came to the class. Now, the first year in Master Suzuki's class, you don't do anything. All right? You basically sweep the floor, clean the toilets, um, you basically cook food for the seniors, empty the plates, clean the plates, a lot of mundane servant duties. And then you promote yourself or you get promoted to year number two. So after the first year, the students were just doing this. They don't get to touch a weapon, they don't learn martial arts, they don't learn the philosophy of Zen Buddhism, nothing. Just mundane cleaning work. Okay? And then at the end of the first year, Master Suzuki lines the 13 students up in the courtyard okay, and decides who gets promoted to year number two. 
and he walks to the first student and say congratulations you go to the second year congratulations you go to the second year congratulations you go to the second year when he reached this american qualified student he looked at the boy and said you're not ready you stay back one more year in year number one now the boy was shocked and with his ego he rationalized that master suzuki wanted, wanted him to stay back all right to basically guide the new incoming group of students okay so for one more year this boy had to clean the toilets sweep the floor cook food for his classmates who are now his seniors you, you understand okay and uh, he went on for one more year right through the servant duties cleaning the toilet is not something i think you're very happy about but they did it he did it for one more year now the second year again graduation for the first year students including this boy and master suzuki walked around saying congratulations you get promoted you get promoted you get promoted came to this boy and once again said you're not ready okay stay back one more year now this time the boy lost it big time he lost his temper he shouted you know and he told his classmates i'm going to go to master suzuki's hut and let the old man know how i feel so he walked he walked to Master Suzuki's hut, almost kicked the door down, barged in and started shouting at Master Suzuki. Okay? He shouted, shouted, shouted. Master Suzuki was sitting down, having a cup of tea, looked at him and said, calm down. Sit down. Let's talk. And the boy calmed down. He sat down. Okay? And then Master Suzuki looked at him and said, pour me a cup of tea. The boy poured. Now, when you pour a cup of tea, if you're right now having tea at home, you pour a cup of tea, when do you stop? You stop when the cup is almost full, all right, just at the brim, okay? And the boy stopped, logically, common sense. And Master Suzuki looked at him and said, hey, who asked you to stop? Keep pouring. Now the boy listened and he kept pouring. When you pour more tea into a cup which is almost full or full cup, what happens? You're right, it overflows. And the tea started overflowing onto the table, onto the floor. After a few seconds, the boy felt like an idiot and he put down the pot and said, what are you trying to prove here? And Master Suzuki brilliantly looked at him and said, the reason why you never got promoted was because you are like this cup. You are full. Every knowledge, everything I wanted you to learn couldn't go in. It overflowed. So the principle behind Master Suzuki's teaching, which I learned from Dato Vijay, and I teach everywhere I go around the world, is that your journey into network marketing must first start with an empty cup. So you must empty your cup. If you're sitting there and listening to me right now and saying, I already heard this story, so what? That means your cup is not empty. And you can never move on. You can never achieve the success you desire because your cup is full. So as you come into QuestNet, as you come into this networking business, as you join the V family, first rule is empty your cup. All right? And I hope you don't get offended by this video because I'm going to be very direct. I don't care whether you have a degree. I don't care whether you have a PhD. I don't care whether you used to run a successful traditional business. This is network marketing. It's a whole different ballgame. Unless you are tremendously successful already in network marketing and you have earned more than me, all right, and build a bigger network than me, I am willing to empty my cup and listen to you. But until you achieve tremendous success in this business, guys, please empty your cup all right, when you start your journey in this business. Now, this principle of emptying your cup is something which Dato Vijay told me I have to do daily. Right? I'm willing to learn from anyone. If I wanted to know how to repair my car, I will learn from the mechanic. If the mechanic wanted to learn about network marketing, he will learn from me. So on a daily basis, you have to empty your cup in order to gain more knowledge, to gain more experience, to learn from people far more successful than you. Now, the person who signed you up, your upline, Whatever said and done has more experience in this business. The fact that he signed up before you. All right? Your higher uplines, AVPs, V Council, especially the V Partners, these are tremendously successful people earning more in one week than you have earned in the past five years in your traditional jobs or business. All right? And when they come to your country, when they come for an NSS, a Revcon, an NDA or whatever form of training, you should be there with an empty cup so a lot of networkers a lot of people who join our business all right always join okay
thinking they don't need training. Let me reaffirm and remind you that our business is about getting trained. You need to attend every training. You should be hungry for knowledge. You should be hungry for training. I still remember in my early days when I started in 1998 with Dato Vijay Japa, I used to fight to get any little time I could with Dato Vijay or Japa, all right, to learn anything. I used to sit next to Dato, he will be on a telephone conversation with somebody else and I would just listen and learn something which I could apply in my networking or generally in life. All right, I still remember once I wanted my leaders to meet Dato and uh, I was in Malaysia, Dato was in Singapore. That's a five hour drive, okay. So I called Dato, I said, Dato, can you please allow us to come and learn from you? He said, I'm in Singapore, I'm staying at the Hyatt Hotel, if you want, come. So I got all my leaders together, we drove. Five hour drive, crossed that bridge into Singapore, went to Hyatt, alright, and called him from downstairs, you know, Dato Vijay, we're downstairs, he said, wait, I'll come down. And we waited for eight hours, eight hours we waited. And Dato finally came down, spoke to us, and I'm not kidding, alright, spoke to us for not more than 20 minutes and said, thank you very much, I have to go, I have another meeting and he left. So we drove for 5 hours, waited for 8 hours and got 20 minutes of time with Dato and drove back 5 hours. But that 20 minutes, alright, was extremely beneficial to me and my group, right, because our cups were empty. That 20 minutes carried us for 3 years. We still apply that learning of 20 minutes until today in our networking teaching with our groups. So emptying your cup is crucial. Any chance you get to sit with a successful networker, your uplines, AVP, we counsel, we partners, grab that opportunity. All right? In a coffee shop, in the airport, waiting lounge, in the car, don't waste your time. Learn, learn, learn. Empty your cup. All right? Or not, you'll never make it in this business. Okay? Now, training, it's a big word. If you talk about training to the traditional world, it's, you know, all these great Mahaguru trainers, you know, who never made it in life. They just sell their programs and make money from teaching people like you how to make money, even though they have never made money in traditional business. And you pay 2,000 US, 3,000 US to attend these great gurus of training. And you come back home, you never apply what they teach. You have a stack of books, 200 cassettes, which goes into your garage. And after five years, you're still broke. But in network marketing, I don't call it training. All right? Training is a strong word. And basically, everyone resists. Do you understand? You resist. Oh, who is he to teach me? He's younger than me. That was my problem. I started networking when I was 23. And I had downlines who were 40, 50 years old. And they had a problem listening to me because I was young. All right? But when I started becoming tremendously successful in network marketing, because I learned from my, my teacher, Dato Vijay, all right? Everyone was willing to listen to you. All right? So listen to success. Never question why. Ask how and follow. All right? So the word training, I don't like to use. Right now, what I'm doing with you right now, if you're sitting at home listening to me, I'm sharing. I'm not saying everything I share over the past eight years, I got from the sky. I am proud to say that nothing I say is original. Everything I say, I learn from somebody greater, more successful than me, especially Dato Vijay Ishwaran, in this industry of network marketing. All right? And I respect that knowledge, I absorb that knowledge, and I share. So in the V, I don't like saying, come for a training session. Hey, please go for this session, all right? Because a guy is going to be sharing his experience. And that's important. Like in the eight basic building blocks rebuilt, I shared, you have now started a journey on a road which you have never been on. A brand new street or a highway. Okay, and you want to go from point A to point B. You can figure it out on your own. But if you are smart or wise, you will ask somebody who has been on the road. You will ask him, excuse me, how is the journey? What road should I avoid? Left side, right side, where is the pothole? Where did the tree fall down? Where is the police speed trap? You know, so I can avoid it and not get a summon. Do you understand? That's what a wise person will do. So in our business, be wise. Learn from your seniors. Learn from your uplines. 
Now, our sharing sessions or training as common people call it, all right, is very much divided in my opinion to three categories. If I have a downline, I can help him in three ways or three areas which I need to help him. Area number one, all right, is basically personal growth. The person growing as an individual, all right, and that's very important. Because a lot of people join our business with a lot of garbage in their minds. They are alcoholics, they are lazy people, some people have very low moral values, they are divorcees, they have problems with their wife, their families, all right? they have drug problems, whatever the problem is. All right? okay? That's a personal challenge they have within themselves and sometimes as an upline, if you choose to, you also want to help them in their personal life. To me, what attracted me most to QuestNet what attracted me most to, to the V was their mission statement of raising yourself to help mankind. It is not only about money. It's about helping somebody change their lives. And I love that aspect of it. And I think that's something which is driving me today. I'm financially free. I'm retired. I have enough money to last a lifetime very comfortably. But I still do what I do because I think I want to change a lot of lives out there. I think there are a lot of Putmans who need Putman, all right? And, and I think it's my duty, all right? I've earned so much from this company, it's for me to give back. Raise yourself, I raise myself with a lot of help from Dato, all right, Vijay. And, and now I want to help mankind. So in areas of networking with my downline, the first area of training I focus on is, for example, personal growth, all right? And that area of personal growth, I, I guide them on various areas of discipline, commitment, changing their lifestyle, all right? I, I talk about vegetarianism, I talk about the uh, stopping alcohol abuse and everything else, because I want him to be a better person, all right? But the most important thing I share with all my downlines is the power of the teaching Dato has shared with millions of people around the world, called the sphere of silence. First thing I want to get the guy switched on is on the sphere of silence, the power of silence, the one hour every day, which helps him personally to grow. That's personal growth, okay? Sphere of silence, very important aspect of which helps him become a better individual, a better father, a better son, but most importantly, helps him become a better networker, slash a better human being, okay? Then, there is the area of energy or hype or passion or excitement, all right? And that area is through our events, okay? There is a system in place in every organization around the world, okay? Every organization, especially the V, has their own system. We have NSS, NDA, ReVCon, the mother of all events, VCon, all right? Where people attend to get that energy. That event is full of passion, hype, all right, a lot of loud music, a lot of dancing, a lot of shouting, a lot of knowledge also imparted onto them. All right, and that's the second area. And if you are running a, your own organization, if you have two, three hundred downlines, you must belong to a system. Without a system, you will not make it in network marketing. You cannot be a lone ranger. And your system, like my system previously when I was actively networking, all right, started in my home. Started with my home every Sunday, 10 people in my living room, all right? And we sometimes watch movies, we share basic training, we share our experience with each other. And from that 10, it grew to 20, 30, 40, 50. Then we had to book a small hall in our compound or village, all right? Then eventually it became 100, 200, 300. Then we book a hotel. Right now it's 1,000, 2,000, we book, big, we book a big convention center. All right? A system consists of events, trainings mainly, all right? or sharing sessions, tools. Tools is basically CDs, brochures, pamphlets, starter kits. Everyone asks me, Mr. Patman, why QuestNet took so long to create a starter kit? Hey, you create your own starter kit. Right? We launched the most amazing product in the history of QuestNet called the Biodis. Everyone asks me, Patman, we need pamphlets. Don't wait for us. You create your own pamphlet. You create your own PowerPoint presentation. What's stopping you from doing that? 
All right, you need to create a system. You need to go to your upline who has a system and plug yourself into the system. That system of events, tools, CDs, audio cassettes, audio CDs, trips, all right? That system maintains the energy, maintains the passion. Mark my words, if you stop talking to your upline, stay at home, don't attend any events, don't attend any trainings, what happens to you? What happens to you? Your energy drops. Your commitment level drops. You get lazy. Human nature. You start watching more TV, start fighting with your wife, eating more, not wanting to go out. If you are not plugged into a system, you will die a slow, natural, financial death in network marketing. You'll never make it. I'm plugged into the system. I'm plugged into Dato Vijay's system as his student. I'm plugged into the V system. All right, and that keeps my energy going. That keeps my level of passion high. All right, because networking is about passion. It's about your energy. It's about your level of commitment, and you cannot do it on your own. You need to be plugged into a system. Now you need to decide. All right, which system you want to plug in? Check upline. All right. If you claim you're sitting there right now crying and saying I have no upline, then the V is your upline. Go online to www dot the dash v dot net right? and communicate with our people and we will tell you where the events are happening we'll tell you who can support you in Sweden, in Cambodia, in India, in Sri Lanka in Afghanistan, in Tajikistan, in Malaysia, Singapore Papua New Guinea, Mauritius right? we are your grand upline we have a system we have events happening all over the world to support the network but you have to have the desire to attend an event. You have to have the desire to be trained. You have to empty your cup. Listen to your upline. Now, even if your upline looks like a moron, don't worry. Because your upline, okay, has another upline, okay, who's teaching him. So the information goes downline. So something you hear from your upline, most probably are the words of Dato Vijay. Are the words from Patman, Japa, TG, Donna, Kuna, Ranjit. Alright? You understand? Your upline is your lifeline. Like I shared in the 8 basic building blocks rebuild. You should be, his number must be in your number one speed dial. Alright? You should be SMSing him every day. You must be talking to him every day. Alright? And that's the only way you grow in this business. So my advice to you sitting there, when's the last time you attended a training? When's the last time you put more knowledge into your cup? When's the last time did you enhance your knowledge with somebody else's experience? Alright, learning from somebody more successful than you. You have to do that. Alright, so training is an important aspect of this business. Any chance you get, attend. A V training, your uplines training, your groups training. Any chance you get, attend. You must be hungry for training. I will follow Dato Vijay like a lost child. Just to be able to listen to him, to sit next to him, to get a little bit of energy for him, to get his tremendous wisdom. Then I go downline and share it. You know, you become a conduit, you become a messenger, alright, to communicate message downline. That's what the V does. We communicate our message downline to 2.5 million people. Hey, one day, 25 million people. I'm very confident. Alright. Training is important. So you got personal growth, sea of silence. All right, educating them, helping them in their personal growth as an individual. You got the system, helps them grow in networking, helps them grow in, um, in their passion, keeping their passion high, keeping them always excited. And then the third part is basically helping them make money. Because the bottom line, ladies and gentlemen, is that you need to make money. You did not join QuestNet as a hobby. You did not join QuestNet to become part of a social club. You joined QuestNet as a serious business decision. You joined QuestNet because you wanted to make money, you wanted to change your life, you wanted this thing called financial freedom and trust me, it's a beautiful life when you're financially free. All right? Now, the money part is very subjective. And everyone asks me, Patman, tell me something which will guarantee make me money. And I say, I don't know. 
Right? There's no such thing as guaranteed how much check you're going to get, whether you're going to get 250 US, 500 US, or 15,000 US. It's very subjective. And no upline can tell you, I guarantee you next week 500 US dollars. There's no guarantees in life. All right? But the main point you have to understand is that, all right, I figured out something. Learning from Dato Vijay and all the experience I gathered from all the great networkers I met around the world, I realized that there's one way to make sure you get a check, to make sure you get financial freedom, and that is called practicing rule number three. <laughs>
somebody who has more experience, more knowledge in this business to guide you. Have that person, communicate with that person, empty your cup when you're dealing with the person. Alright? Number two, you've got personal, uh, sorry, personal growth done. You've got maintaining your energy, maintaining your passion, maintaining your excitement in network marketing. And that is through training. Please, attend every V event. Attend anything organized by your uplines or groups. Right? Every weekend, go to your upline's house and wait outside his gate until he allows you in. A V partner flies into your country, follow him like a lost child, the way I follow that of VJ. Alright? AVPs, V council training, go. Right? They, not everyone is a great speaker on stage. Doesn't matter. Listen to the man because of his experience. That he has done more, achieved more than you have in this business. And then empty your cup, go, learn, apply. Learn, apply. Absorb, apply. Alright? Attend the events to keep your energy. Networking is a very draining business and we all have our low times, right? But if you attend events, you attend a V event, you attend your uplines event, you spend time with your uplines, you will be always high, your level of excitement. I'm like this every single day. You will never catch Patman Senatiraja down because I'm always in Dato zone, I'm always learning from him. And every day I leave him, I feel like I can conquer the world, all right? That feeling keeps me going and I've been doing this for nine years. And I have the same level of excitement I had day one today. Today actually more excitement. Alright? Because I attend events. Alright? I work with Dato. I learn from Dato and keep my energy high. Third area of making money. Rule number three. Make sure you do it. It's a secret to success for me and a lot of people around the world. Now this video is very short. And I want you to play it to everyone around the world. And if you're sitting there right now, I have a piece of advice for you. You join this business to make money. You join this business to change your life. You join this business to help other people change your life. Take your responsibility seriously. Do rule number three. Attend trainings. Do sphere of silence. And I assure you in the next two years, all right, you will either reach financial freedom or you're very close to it. All right? And you would have built a tremendously powerful network of people who will one day thank you for helping them change their life. Right? This is a short video for the reason I'm going to make a lot of this over the next few months where you can just play in your car audio or you can play in your house and let people watch. This is training. You can just plug in this video, get 20 people in your house, give them energized water from the bio disc, all right? give them some popcorn and watch and learn and apply. Okay. This will be the first of the short series of videos by Patman Senati Raja from the V, from V Studios. Alright, and this is uh, number one and we'll have maybe 10, 15 and I'll give you short videos on every aspect of networking. Today's topic is the importance of training and the importance of emptying your cup. So ladies and gentlemen, before this video ends, empty your cup. And remember that training is the key to success. Rule number three is the secret of success in our business. Thank you very much. All right.